Hello and welcome to Bike Wale. We are in Goa at Rider Mania 2020 at the unveil of uh, most likely one of the most awaited motorcycles of 2022, the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650. Now, the prices of this motorcycle will be announced, are expected to be announced early 2023 and that's when it will be officially launched and that's when maybe the deliveries will commence. But bookings have been open only for people who are uh, here at Rider Mania, who are participants of this place. So, as of now, what we can do is we can take a detailed walk around of the motorcycle. So, let's start. Uh, let's start with the design. This is a brand new design from Royal Enfield, which for me, it looks lovely. It looks beautiful, extremely proportionate. But what do you think about the design? Let us know in comments. So, it gets a typical cruiser-centric uh, long wheelbase, low profile. And uh, there are seven um, lovely color options available. And there are two variants, one standard and one tourer. The, uh, the tourer variant is equipped with uh, touring accessories like um, uh, a windscreen, a taller handlebar and a backrest. Uh, we'll have a separate video of that one, uh, so you can check that out. Now, uh, there are some very nice uh, detailed touches as well. For example, there are these uh, chrome finished uh, round bezel around the headlamp. There are these aluminium finished brackets on the front fender. Uh, these headlamp brackets are also aluminium and um, the switch gear also looks pretty premium. The fit and finish looks nice. And uh, as you can see, this uh, panel is aluminium finish. There are these rotary style uh, switches. And uh, another very nice uh, convenience uh, increasing thing is uh, these adjustable clutch and brake levers, which should, uh, you know, really ease up or uh, add to the convenience to reach uh, to the lever and uh, brake and clutch lever, basically. Now, talking about the ergonomics. At 740 mm, the seat height of the Super Meteor is pretty accessible and almost uh, every rider with any kind of height should be able to access the seat height. It's uh, pretty easy to hop on and once you are seated, the overall ergonomics are uh, pretty laid back. Uh, so it should be comfortable over long distances, but that will know uh, later when we uh, do a proper road test review over long distances. But in first impressions, it is looks pretty comfortable. I have a, I'm sitting in a natural position. The foot pegs are forward set handlebar is within my easy reach and most important the seat is pretty spacious and the cushioning is dense so it should be uh, really comfortable over long distances now talking about the cycle parts it gets upside down folks which is a first from royal enfield it has been sourced from showa and then it gets uh, alloy wheels at both ends as standard uh, uh, to be noted and it gets seat tires now aluminiums uh, now there's alloy wheels one benefit of that is that you get access to tubeless tires so if uh, your tire gets punctured somewhere out uh, uh, in some remote location it is very easy to repair tubeless tires and um, another thing that is a first from Royal Enfield is this full LED headlamp so other uh, motorcycles from Royal Enfield get a bulb type unit and uh, these indicators are conventional units but there are uh, LED units uh, available as uh, optional accessories now let's talk about the engine uh, it is powered by the same 648cc parallel twin air and oil cool motor which is there on the interceptor and the Continental GT650 and uh, this unit churns out about 47 bhp of power and 52 newton meters of peak torque. It comes mated to a 6 speed gearbox. Now um, as we know this engine is uh, very rich in torque. The torque curve is uh, pretty flat so uh, which really helps in touring uh, or cruising on the highway where whatever rpm you are at you just ring the throttle and the motorcycle goes and uh, i think uh, the overall dynamics have been designed to really take on long sweeping corners nicely and um, so that's the super meteor 650 i hope i'm not forgetting anything and uh, so there are uh, seven color options available um, which we'll have a separate video for that uh, later and uh, now let us know in comment section what do you think of this motorcycle and when it's launched would you want to buy it do let us know